Thank you all for coming. Here's sort of the order of the day. I'll give a brief opening statement along with Senator Whitehouse, then we'll have Senator Grassley and Feinstein follow us in questioning. And uh, it'll be seven minute rounds initially, and we'll try to do a second round of five minutes to both of the witnesses. Thank you for coming. We'll try to make this as reasonably short as possible, and if you need a break, please let us know. So people wonder, what are we doing and what are we trying to accomplish? In January, the intelligence community unanimously said that the Russians, through their intelligence services, tried to interfere in the 2016 American presidential election, that it was the Russians uh, who hacked Podesta's emails, it was the Russians who broke into the Democratic National Committee, and it was Russians who helped empower WikiLeaks. Uh, no evidence that the Russians changed voting tallies, how people were influenced by what happened, only they know and God knows, but I think every American should be concerned about what the Russians did. From my point of view, there's no doubt in my mind it was the Russians involved in all the things I just described, not some 400-pound guy sitting on her bed or any other country. Uh, Russia is up to no good when it comes to democracies all over the world dismembering the Ukraine. The Baltics are always under siege by Russian interference. So why? We want to learn what the Russians did. We want to find a way to stop them because they're apparently not going to stop until somebody makes them. The hearing that was held uh, last week with Director Comey asked a question, is it fair to say that Russian government still involved in American politics? And he said yes. So I want House members and senators to know it was the presidential campaign of 2016. It could be our campaigns next. I don't know what happened in France, but somebody hacked into Mr. Macron's uh, account, and we'll see who that may have been. But this is sort of what Russia does to try to undermine democracy. So what are we trying to accomplish here? To validate the findings of the Intelligence Committee as much as possible and to come up with a course of action as a nation, bipartisan in nature, because it was the uh, Democratic Party of 2016 were the victims. It could be the Republican Party of the future. When one party's attacked, all of us should feel an attack. It should be an Article V uh, agreement between both major parties, all major parties, that when a foreign power interferes in our election, it doesn't matter who they targeted, <clears throat> we're all in the same boat. Uh, secondly, the unmasking, the 702 program. Quite frankly, when I got involved in this investigation, I didn't know much about it. Director Comey said the 702 uh, program, which allows warrants for intelligence gathering and a vital intelligence tool, I've learned a bit about unmasking, and what I've learned is disturbing. So I don't know exactly all the details of what goes into unmasking an American citizen being incidentally surveilled when they are involved with a foreign agent. I'd like to know more, and I want to make sure that that unmasking can never be used as a political weapon in our democracy. So I'm all for hitting the enemy before they hit us. Intelligence gathering is essential, but I do believe we need to take a look at uh, the procedures involved in 702, particularly how unmasking is uh, requested, who can request it, and what can what, what limitations exist, if any, on how the information can be used. So that's why we're here. We're here to find out all things Russia, and the witnesses are determined by the evidence and nothing else. And the 702 re reauthorization will come for the Congress fairly soon. And I, for one, have a lot of questions I didn't have before. I've enjoyed doing this with Senator Whitehouse. Senator Feinstein and Grassley have been terrific. Let it be said that the chairman and ranking member of the subcommittee have allowed us to do our job, have empowered us, and have been hands-on, and it's much appreciated. And with that, I'll recognize Senator Whitehouse. 